This flight scenario takes you through a typical JAR instrument rating test profile, but without the general handling section, as this does not involve any significant RT. As with all other scenarios, it is set in fictitious airspace. However, all the radio calls and the profile are representative of what you might expect in real life, except that IF screens have been omitted. The flight starts at Walden and follows a standard instrument departure, or SID, to join control airspace at the Wiccan VOR. From there, you fly along the airway to North Cross VOR. You then get radar vectors to an ILS at Georgetown. On the ILS, you go around at your decision altitude, after which you practice an engine failure after takeoff drill. The reason for including this is that you will normally be asked to make a simulated pan call as part of the drill. Therefore, this call is included in the scenario. After the engine failure drill, you carry out a practice diversion to Stephenville. On arrival there, you enter the hold. You then carry out an asymmetric NDB approach. On this approach, you convert to a visual approach at your minimum descent altitude, and then go around from your asymmetric committal altitude. You complete the flight with a circling approach to land. The flight starts with you on the ground at Walden. You have listened to the ATIS report and are ready to start engines for which you need clearance from air traffic on the ground frequency of 121.95. Walden Ground, Golf Echo Golf India Kilo. Request start. Information Delta, QNH 1006. Golf India Kilo, clear to start, time 0944. Clear to start. Golf India Kilo. You are now ready to taxi. Note that as several minutes have elapsed since you called for start clearance, you must treat the call for taxi clearance as an initial call. Walden Ground, Golf Echo Golf India Kilo, request taxi. Golf India Kilo, cleared to taxi to holding point runway 20. Taxi to holding point runway 20, Golf India Kilo. Having completed your pre-takeoff checks, you are now ready to copy your departure clearance. The point at which you receive this clearance will vary considerably between airfields. At Walden, we are assuming that the clearance is given just before takeoff. At larger airports, with many more movements, the clearance may be given before taxiing. Walden Ground. Golf Echo Golf India Kilo, ready to copy clearance. Golf Echo Golf India Kilo is cleared for a Wick and one alpha departure. Climb and maintain flight level 60. Request level change en route, squawk 5412. Cleared for a Wick and one alpha departure. Climb and maintain flight level 60. Request level change en route, squawk 5412. Golf, Echo Golf, India Kilo. Golf, Echo Golf, India Kilo, correct. Contact Walden Tower, 118, decimal 7. Walden Tower, 118, decimal 7. Golf, Echo Golf, India Kilo. Walden Tower, 118, decimal 7. Golf, Echo Golf, India Kilo. In the following example, note the use of the word departure rather than takeoff. Also, that the pilot must read back in full any instructions to enter, land, take off on, backtrack, hold short or cross a runway. The instruction and wait is normally followed by the reason, otherwise lineup will be used on its own. Walden Tower, Golf, Echo Golf, India Kilo, ready for departure. 
Golf India Kilo, Walden Tower. After departure, climb straight ahead until passing altitude 2,500 feet. After departure, climb straight ahead until passing altitude 2,500 feet. Golf India Kilo. Golf India Kilo. Line up and wait, runway 20. Vehicle crossing, upwind end of runway. Line up and wait, runway 20. Golf India Kilo. The words takeoff are only used when an aircraft is cleared for takeoff, and the takeoff clearance must be read back. Golf India Kilo, cleared takeoff runway 20, surface wind calm. Cleared takeoff runway 20, Golf India Kilo. In this example, note that the frequency change is acknowledged in full. In other words, the frequency is read back in full so that the controller knows that the aircraft has the correct frequency. Golf India Kilo, passing 2,500 feet. Golf India Kilo, contact Alexander Control. 129 decimal 1. Alexander Control, 129 decimal 1. Golf India Kilo. As in the previous example, the level instructions must be read back in full. Alexander Control, Golf Echo Golf India Kilo, passing 3,000 feet on QNH 1006, Wiccan 1 Alpha Departure, climbing flight level 60. Golf Echo Golf India Kilo, Alexander Control, climb flight level 60, report reaching. Climbing flight level 60, Wilco. Golf Echo Golf India Kilo. Golf Echo Golf India Kilo reaching flight level 60. Golf India Kilo reported Wiccan. Wilco Golf India Kilo. You will see from the map that the aircraft enters controlled airspace just before reaching the Wiccan VOR. Over most of Europe, and particularly in the UK, airways traffic is tracked on radar, so position reports are used infrequently. However, for training purposes in this lesson, the controller asks the aircraft to report at Wiccan. As a reminder, a position report in controlled airspace requires this information. Alexander Control, Golf India Kilo, Wiccan 28, flight level 60, North Cross 39. Golf India Kilo, Roger. The flight time from Wiccan to North Cross is 11 minutes. You know you will be busy with the ILS after you pass North Cross so you decide to get the Georgetown ATIS before you reach North Cross. We will assume that as in real life you would maintain a listening watch on Alexander Control while getting the ATIS on the Georgetown information frequency of 127.17 on the other radio. If you only have one radio, you would of course have to request clearance to change frequency. This is Georgetown Information Foxtrot, timed at 1030 UTC. Expect ILS runway 23, wind 24012 knots, cloud broken 1200 feet, overcast 2000 feet, visibility 5 kilometers, 
QNH-1008. On initial contact, give aircraft type and information Foxtrot. From North Cross, you are expecting radar vectors to an ILS at Georgetown. Because of the proximity of Georgetown to North Cross, and because you anticipate flying the ILS pattern at 2,000 feet, you decide that you should begin your descent from flight level 60 before you get to North Cross. Golf India Kilo, request descent. Golf India Kilo, descend flight level 40. Descend flight level 40. Golf India Kilo. Golf India Kilo, contact Georgetown approach 120.625. Georgetown approach 120.625. Golf India Kilo. In this scene, note that the aircraft repeats both the runway identifier and heading given by the controller, even though the runway has already been notified in the ATIS broadcast. Also, in common with many airfields, a radar service is provided by approach control. Georgetown Approach, Golf Echo Golf India Kilo. PA-32, descending flight level 40, approaching North Cross, information Foxtrot. Golf India Kilo, Georgetown approach, vectors for ILS runway 23. ILS runway 23, Golf India Kilo. Golf India Kilo, you are identified 3 miles east of North Cross, radar control. Leave North Cross heading 180. Radar control. Leave North Cross heading 180. Golf India Kilo.